how to upload 10,000 plus NFTs on OpenSea at once. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can upload 10,000 plus NFTs on OpenSea all at once. So let's get started. Now in this video, you know, I'm telling you how you can upload more NFTs because uploading 10,000 NFTs, it takes quite a while. And uh, you know, you don't have that much time and you have to upload them individually uh either that or you hire someone else you know it's basically it just takes quite a lot of time and it's honestly not worth it because per nft let's say you would take like uh five minutes right and five minutes you have like ten thousand nfts uh, then it's just hours and hours of work so in, by the end of this video you will have a process and you will know a way that you can use to upload all this and you don't even have to do it you can go to sleep you can go to work you can do whatever you want you can just leave it and we'll keep uploading all of your NFTs. So let's just jump into it. So first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to log into your OpenSea account by connecting your MetaMask wallet or any other cryptocurrency wallet. I'm going to be using MetaMask. And once you have, you know, logged in, you're basically going to go into my collections and just simply choose the collection you want. So this was the collection that I have. So over here, you're basically going to, you know, come over here and just simply click on add account and you're going to create a new you know nft so we're gonna leave it at that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a new tab right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and adjust my windows for these you know nfts so i'm just gonna open up these windows right here i'm gonna open up a two spreadsheets and i'm gonna put this one over here make sure these windows don't overlap each other all right and their size is constant so that nothing you know moves out of the way actually put this one down and put this one up now what i'm gonna do is over here in this uh, spreadsheet at the top we're gonna add numbers and we're gonna add the names of the nfts all right and over here we're gonna start with zero we're gonna go with one we're gonna go with two you know like that and over here we're gonna be like crypto punks number one there you go as you can see now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these up we're going to press and hold down shift and when the mouse you know looks like this black cursor we're going to put that in and just scroll down over here up until the point where you want to stop so for example if you are uploading 50 nfts we're going to scroll down up to the point where we want to upload like let's say 50 nfts then we're going to stop at 50 nfts over here there you go let me just go ahead and do that there you go 50 nfts uploaded now we're going to go ahead and put this like this over here and we're going to you know maximize this one. Now that that's done, make sure you put this layout like this. Now the main program for this is called Minnie Mouse Macro, which you can download as well. It's a free program. Now what this macro key will do, it'll basically you know record all of your uh, mouse activity and all of your clicks, all of your buttons and stuff like that. It's very simple right let me just pull that down over here so what it basically we do is for example if i click on over here record and i just go over here right i just choose this one i click on okay all right now i just simply click on stop i delete that now if i play this macro key this is what it's going to look like all right right now i'm not touching my you know mouse or anything everything is being done by the computer itself i'm not clicking anything i'm not doing anything as you can see, it's recording all of the activity that I did and now, you know, copying and pasting it as well. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So it's pretty simple. Let me just go ahead and clear the macro list over here so that you guys can understand. Now that we're ready, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on record. All right. We're going to come over here. We're going to click over here. We're going to copy the name for the first one. We're going to come over here. We're going to put this over here. We're going to input the name we're going to click on enter the name has been selected next what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here select this we're going to copy that we're going to paste the name over here into the name bar next what we were going to do is we're going to copy the link for our website we have all of these nfts uploaded now i don't have a link so I, this is just a random link dot com that i just pasted so you don't have to worry about that you can over here put your own link to your collection what you're going to do is just simply click on the link copy that and over here paste that link 
And next, what you're going to do is you're going to hit tab, right? You're going to go into description. You're going to come over here, copy the description over here. You can add the description over here. I just basically wrote description over here just so that you guys can understand what I'm basically doing. And then over here, once you've done that, you're going to come over here and paste the description. And then what you're going to do is again, press tab so that we're going to scroll down. Then you have your collection. We're going to leave it at that and we're going to press enter. Then we're going to press tab again. You can even add properties as well, but you know, I don't have any properties as of right now. So I'm going to leave that blank. You can upload more properties as well by doing the exact same thing. You can add a bunch of properties over here, like uh, background, uh, you know, head or you know, cat or accessories or whatever you want. You can go ahead and do that and do the exact same process. It's really simple. But for now, I'm just going to skip it. And then we're going to press tab again and again and again and again until we finally reach create. And once we do that, we just hit enter. But before we do that, uh, we want to go back over here, you know, into the name. We're going to scroll down. We're going to press the button down so that it works. You know, it comes down again. So now again we're going to click on create and after that boom it's done and now as you can see our crypto punk has been created what we're going to do is we're going to click on escape uh, actually close this up then click on the project itself over here and then we're going to go back and click on add item and then we're back to where we started now what we're going to do is we're going to stop the macro key we're going to delete the last one because that is the stop macro key action so we're going to delete that and then what we're going to do is we're going to play it and see how it works so if i play the loop over here if i play the macro key let's see how it looks All right i'm not touching my mouse or anything everything is being done by this computer it copied its name and as you can see you might have noticed it's quite slow and the reason for that is because, you know, sometimes the loading process, you know, on screen, you know, loading screen, sometimes like that, it takes some time. That's why it's so uh, slow. You can, however, change the speed of it as well. And I'm going to show you how. So as you can see right now, it uploaded the NFT. It's giving it a name, right? Now it's going to go over here. It's going to copy the description or the external link. And it's going to paste it over here. It's very simple. It's very nice. There you go. It's now copying the link going to paste that link over there in the external link section over there so as you can see it works pretty fine so i'm just simply going to go ahead and stop it as of right now and i'm going to adjust the speed so that you guys can know so i'm going to go ahead and stop it all right so now that it's stopped let me just show you how you can adjust the speed so to adjust the speed before we do that let us go ahead and save this macro and you can save the macro by clicking on the home button and click on save macro. I'm going to call it macro to save. There you go. Now to adjust the speed, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and speed up these individual, you know, clicks. So over here, if I double click over here, instead of 6,000, we're just going to go ahead and enter in 200 millisecond. There you go. Same with the, all the other ones. If the ones that are less than 200, you can leave them as they are but if there are some that are like 3000 or 1000 that are higher than 200 then just change them to 200 and press enter so it's all really simple let me just go ahead and do that actually so as you can see this one is under 81 so i'm going to leave that over there and over here actually i'm going to change this to 200 same with this one as well i'm gonna go ahead and go with 200 and i'm gonna go ahead and actually do like change all of these up and i will catch you guys in a second it changed up most of these so let's go ahead and see how they look like so now if i click on play there you go it's much much more faster so we are good to go so that's how we do it in a matter of seconds it actually uploaded an nft it named it it gave it a name now it's copying the link and all of that so as you can see it actually works you don't have to worry about that let me just go ahead and actually pause that up real quick. Okay, so as you can see, it's sometimes it's really, you know, it gets out of hand. And stopping it is very, you know, hard sometimes because it's it's so fast. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for this video. That's how you do it. Just another tip. Make sure that the speed is constant and, you know, no other tab is open or any other notification or any other pop-up because if anything pops up on the screen then this program is going to get ruined and you won't have any work done as well so be sure to just do exactly what i did word for word 
task to task, you know, click to click and put the layout exactly like this. Or if you want to experiment with your own layout, you can do that. It's fine. Uh, but just be careful. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this and how you're going to do it. And if you have any other questions as well. And having said that, if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. And having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.